Deadlift. Athlete begins rep by taking the barbell from the ground. Athlete must show full extension at the top of each rep. Shoulders must be clearly behind the bar. Both plates must make contact with the floor. Bouncing weight off the ground will result in a no rep. Athlete must show control of the load throughout the movement. Box jumps. Athletes must use two foot takeoff and two foot landing. In order for the rep to count, athlete must show full hip extension at the top of the box. Box step ups. Athlete will step to the top of the box with both feet. The rep is complete when the athlete shows full hip extension at the top of the box. Bar muscle ups. Each rep starts from the hang with full extension of the arms at the bottom. For the rep to count, athlete must reach full extension of the arms over the bar. Athlete may not use a gymnastics glide kip. Pull-ups. Each rep must start from the hang position with full extension of the arms at the bottom. The rep is complete when the athlete's chin is clearly over the bar. Grip and style are up to the athlete. Ring rows. Feet start directly under the ring. The rep begins with full extension of the arms and the legs. The rep is complete when both rings make contact with the sides of the chest. Barbell clean. The barbell is taken from the ground and up to the shoulders in the front rack position. The athlete must show full extension of the hips and knees and the elbows in front of the bar at the top of the rep. Athlete must show control of the load at all times. Power or full clean is acceptable. Barbell snatch. The barbell is taken from the ground directly overhead in one fluid motion. The rep is complete when the athlete reaches the overhead position with the arms, hips, and knees fully locked out and the athlete showing control at the top of the rep. Power or full snatch is acceptable. Russian kettlebell swing. The kettlebell is taken from the ground for the first rep and then from the hang thereafter. The kettlebell must pass between the athlete's legs to the heels. The rep is complete when the kettlebell reaches above the height of the athlete's shoulders and with arms, hips, and knees fully extended. American Kettlebell Swings. Kettlebell is taken from the ground for the first rep and then from the hang thereafter. The kettlebell must pass between the athlete's legs to the heels and swung overhead in one movement. The rep is complete when the kettlebell is completely inverted in the overhead position with arms, knees, and hips fully extended. Burpee. Each repetition begins with the athlete jumping or stepping back and lowering the body until both the thighs and chest make contact with the floor. The athlete will then jump or step up to a standing position. The rep is complete when the athlete's hips are fully extended and both feet leave the ground. Burpee over the bar. Each repetition starts with the athlete jumping or stepping back and lowering the body until both the chest and thighs make contact with the floor. The athlete's hands and feet must remain within the width of the barbell at all times. The athlete will then jump or step to their feet and jump over the barbell. A two foot takeoff and two foot landing is required. Dual dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Rep will start with both dumbbells making contact with the shoulders. 
athlete may press or jerk the dumbbells to the overhead position with full extension of the elbows, knees, and hips, and the athlete showing control of the load. Single arm dumbbell snatch. The athlete will snatch the dumbbell from the ground at the start of each rep to directly overhead. At the bottom of the movement, both heads of the dumbbell must make contact with the ground. The dumbbell must be lifted overhead in one motion. At the top, arms, hips, and knees must be fully locked out with the dumbbell clearly over the athlete's body. Athletes must alternate arms after each rep. The non-lifting hand may not make contact with any part of the body. Bouncing the dumbbell off the ground will result in a no rep. If you are no reps, you must complete the next good rep with the same arm that resulted in the no rep. Hand release push-ups. Each repetition begins with the athlete in the plank push-up position. The athlete will then lower their body until the chest and thighs make contact with the floor. The athlete will then raise their hands off the ground slightly before continuing to the next rep. The rep is complete when the athlete reaches full extension of the arms. Push-ups to a target. The rep will begin with the athlete in a plank position with their hands and knees in contact with the ground. The athlete will then lower their body until the chest makes contact with the ab mat target. The rep is complete when the athlete reaches full extension of the arms. Squat. Athletes start in a standing position with the hips and knees extended. At the bottom of the squat, the athlete's hip crease must be clearly below the knees. The rep is complete when the athlete returns to the standing position with the hips and knees fully extended.